Oh, oh boy, it's a complete disaster now. Let's go, yes, <laughs> and stay. I'm Zach George. I train dogs. This is my new dog, and I'm gonna show you how I trained her from day one. Things definitely won't always go smoothly. You can start from the beginning, or you can pick up anywhere. Subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss an episode. When you put into motion an approach based on love and respect, your results will forever remain in motion. This is Inertia. Welcome to the Dog Training Experience. In today's episode, we're gonna take a walk in a moderately busy city setting and see how inertia does. When you have a dog, you have to regularly care for them by training them and exercising them and feeding them well. There are lots of great dog foods on the market to choose from, and you can be sure that PetFlow will have the one you want. The thing that makes PetFlow different is that they can easily make sure that your dog's food is there when you need it by ordering it just one time. Choose the food that you want, and you just tell PetFlow how often you want it delivered, once or twice a month, for example. Enter code ZAC30 at checkout and you'll get $10 off your first three automatic shipments. I'll have the link and details in the description below. So you guys might remember, we have a new place here in Atlanta and I'm trying to get inertia acclimated with all of the new variables that we have to train around down here. I got this place on one hand because we have a park in the back, which is great for dog training. But the downside is we have a busy road out here. So today's training environment is going to require me to train around loud, fast moving cars and unexpected distractions, which you invariably get every time you go in public. Let's make sure Inertia knows how to stay at the doorway when I open it. Stay, this is something we've been working a lot on. Very good, awesome. And I wanna point out too, that's for today's training lesson, I have an extra safety attachment right here, just a D-ring. You can get these online just about anywhere. Just in the unlikely event, I find myself in a position where I let go of the leash. I'm gonna actually hold this for a second. I really want to ingrain in her psyche that she is never to walk out of this door without permission. We're trying to come up with random, exciting distractions in an effort to ensure that inertia will stay under the most exciting circumstances we can simulate. Okay, Bree, would you mind distracting her? Yes. Yes, good work. Stay. So this is what it looks like from our perspective, guys. Ah! Stay. Good. And normally inertia goes running there. Very good. Okay, let's go. I would classify this as a really advanced training environment. Immediately she's distracted by the ground sense. The ground is more distracting when it's wet than it is when it's dry. Let me see. Okay, inertia, come here. There you go, back up, sit. So I'm gonna get a little peppy. I'm gonna let her know, look, I got something better than the ground that you're gonna enjoy more. All you have to do is pay attention to me. This is literally the first time I've done this exercise out here. And my goal is just to make sure that I can get her attention at will as cars drive by. Our ultimate destination today is an outdoor shopping mall that's pretty close by. I'd love to make it that far, but if inertia is sending me signals saying, you know, I'm, I'm not feeling this training session, I'm fully prepared to abandon it. So this is kind of different than my typical leash training session in that we actually do have a destination. Okay, let's go. I'm not going to insist on a heel straight away. I just wanna make sure that she stays kind of close. You might notice too, I've shortened the leash considerably. I'm holding it over here because we're on the sidewalk. We don't have unlimited space. Let me make sure I can get her eyes on me. Inertia, look at me. This is great. Very urban environment here. I'm able to get her attention. Okay, let's go. Good, easy, wait. She got a little ahead of me there. Let me see if I can get her to voluntarily come back. Inertia, come here, please. Thank you, can you come here? Because I work with Inertia so much, I can tell she's a little distracted. So I'm falling back on a food lure here to help keep her attention on me. Over the next several weeks, I'll begin phasing out the lures as she becomes more adapted to places like this. Inertia, come here, let's go. Back here, good, this way, come on. Sometimes getting into a rhythm, getting a little peppier, livens things up. Come on, come on. That's it. Good girl. Come on, this way. Let's go, almost. Good. Up here, ready? Good girl. Uh, periodically, I'll ask her to wait when she starts to pull ahead like that. Inertia, wait. She's really good about listening to wait most of the time, so I have a loose leash here. Let her explore a little bit, but I also don't want her just pulling ahead. I'm trying to kind of keep it casual, mixed with a little bit more formal so I don't overwhelm her, because I'm also trying to desensitize her to all of this traffic at the same time. I am throwing a lot at her, so I wanna be really conscious of that. Now, I'm not saying that every walk should look like this. This is a training walk where I'm really focused on instilling rules, but sometimes you just have to let your dog walk, smell, and just be a dog. Look, this big truck, 
it hits the trees as it goes by. This is our first little intersection right here that we've had to practice at. I want to make sure that inertia really improves on split second decisions when it comes to listening to me. I know I have a significant crosswalk coming up at a very, very busy intersection. So I think I wanna practice here a little bit to make sure I can get her paying attention to me. Stay. So right there, I mean, there you go. She started to walk ahead. I had her on leash. I had to brace to make sure that she didn't advance. That's why we train. Here's another one, stay. Okay, let's go. Inertia, look at me. I'm gonna turn around as though I have to. Inertia, look over here. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Yes. Good. Come on, this way. That's right. Come here. Stay. Back up. Good. Back up, back up. Good. Okay, come on, let's go. You're doing great. You're doing great. I'm doing a lot of turns halfway because I want that option in the real world in case a car is coming and I have to hurry up and get out of the way, for example. And as challenging as this driveway was, our next intersection is much busier. Easy. And look at this. I have tension immediately going into this. She's like pulling towards me. So I got to get that under control. Stay. I mean, ideally in the future, you approach an intersection like this. You have a nice loose leash at all times. Oh, we got to go. Hey, inertia. Oh gosh, this is, hi, how are you? This is a train wreck right here. Look at me. Okay, come on. I got her attention for a split second there at the end, but she was like smelling and dragging and pulling me. I think I need to practice that a little bit more. It makes perfect sense too, if you think about it, because it's a crazy environment. You're walking, there's giant vehicles moving past you. They're so loud. Why would she want to look at me when there's all of that going around? So here's a bus. They tend to be kind of loud. So let's see how she does when this bus starts Stay. accelerating. What is that? That's a loud Marta bus. But on another note, her sit stay here at this intersection is great. Spending a few minutes here can be very valuable for your training. I mean, surrounded by cars on all sides. Inertia. Good. Perfect. Inertia, come on, let's go. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> and stay. I'll take it. I think for her first time for this kind of training session, she did really well. I'm not gonna push her much further. Now let's see if we can make it to the outdoor mall and see how she does in a crowded parking lot. I don't want her pulling me, but I'm going to be a little relaxed here on what I ask of her. Right off the bat here, people are making a left in here. I've got my dog pulling. You can't do that. Stay. Yes, thank you. All right, coast is clear. Yes, let's, let's jog. There's a nice little jog. I love it. I want to make sure that she can generally pay attention to me here in the parking lot. This is the least congested part of it. Easy. There's debris all over the ground. This way. Come on. Yes. Inertia, you are killing it right now. I'm not even asking for a heel. And she's like, I'll do that. I can readily get her attention right here in this part of the parking lot. I'm ready to move on. There's a store in the mall here. They're pretty dog friendly in this part of town. I'd like to see how she does in a store if she continues to be this cooperative. But going downhill is going to be extra tough. Yes. I'm going to really acknowledge that I like that she's showing restraint downhill because it's so easy for a dog to pull when you're walking downhill. She's a little riled up right now. Not easy. See, that really insistent pulling is where I'm going to stop. Uh, easy. And here we are. Okay, let's go in here. So we're here at Ansley Wine Merchants right now, and they're super dog friendly. So it's a great way to train in a new indoor environment. You can see she's like really interested in everything right now. A little anxious, hear the whining. Right now I just want her to explore and hopefully not knock over bottles of wine. Now that she's adjusted a bit, let me see if I can get her attention on me. Here, stand, look at me, okay. Yes. Stay, back up, good. And after like 30 seconds of being in here, I was able to get her to readily pay attention to me in a place that she's not very familiar with. Remember, a way to measure your dog's compliance is will they do a variety of the tricks or skills that they know when you ask them to in different environments. Hug, oh, look at that first attempt. Nice job. We're gonna get us a bottle of champagne here. You can't drink, you're not 21 yet. Let's go this way, over here. Come on, here we go. Hey. Remember, inertia still gets excited when meeting new people, and this can catch even me off guard sometimes. Boy, okay, it's all, it's a complete disaster now. <laughs> Easy, leave it alone. Oh, goodness gracious. 
She was doing so well. Obviously we have work to do. Can you be more exciting again like you just did? And I wanna see if I can have her stay. I want Inertia to stay when she's asked to, even when she's invited to jump by strangers. And this person is willing to help me out. So I'll take it. Very good, much better, very good. So yeah, it took a little bit of work and that's the thing, ultimately, Good you know, girl. you want your dog listening to you, yeah. not, not whatever's going on in the world. When we first came up here, she was pretty amped up, but after she got satisfied here and adapted, she tended to settle down naturally. I think we're headed in the right direction. That was Inertia's most serious city training session yet. I think she really did an awesome job. Give her a thumbs up if you thought so. In the next episode, we're gonna continue to work with Inertia in busy, distracting settings and take her to an even busier city setting here in New Orleans for her biggest test yet. Get $10 off your first three automatic shipments from Peplo by entering discount code ZAC30. And if you want to see how far Inertia has come since we filmed even this video, follow us on Instagram and TikTok where everything is updated in real time. Subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified whenever we post a new video and get a copy of both my books for all of my most detailed dog training advice in one place. I'll have all of the relevant links in the description below and we'll see you guys next time.